in my Cal Street school. Dear Lord, show me a sign. Give me a map. Oh, yeah. This little patio will surprise you. You wouldn't think it goes into what it does, but it does. So we're gonna walk around in a circle, I believe. But it comes out here. And then it's gonna go right into all those people over there. And we're gonna walk around in a circle around Caballo. And you can see all the businesses around here as well. And it goes up the street, um, kind of uphill. But in Macau, Macau. So anyways, let's, let's start out at our street and then we'll um, show you what it's all about. Okay, welcome to Macau. We have a patio. This is called Cabaya. And um, I looked up the Portuguese word for Cabaya and all I'm getting is this brand name backpack. And then I looked up the Chinese word, which means like lawn enclosure, like a green grass kind of lawn that you'd see um, like in the United States or somewhere like that. So, um, so anyways, it's kind of, um, so I guess maybe in the past it had maybe green grass that was inside there, I guess, because that's how it got its Chinese name. But anyways, it's definitely a courtyard and now it's definitely cement and surrounded by buildings. And it's in this really central located place where there's tourists all walking up and down. And it's kind of typical of the patios because you can go inside and it's super quiet and it's just a world away, but you're just like, like a minute from like all the action and all the people and all the shops and restaurants and everything like that. So I think this one is a really interesting courtyard patio just because of the location. And um, what we're gonna do, is we're gonna um, show you the outside where all the tourists are at and then go inside and go around in a circle. So through it, through the middle of it basically. Anyways, let's get into it. Macau, and we got a Cabaya Courtyard. Oh, come on now. Oh, come on now. Come on, Macau. Come on now. It's a beautiful day. Find a way. Oh, what a day, you gotta find a way Oh, come on now Come on, Macau Come on now, come on I gotta go, 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 go So you can see an entrance right there, so it's Padre de Cabaya. And then you can also see all the people everywhere up here. So we were just walking. Let me just kind of show you real quick. We came out of that alley up there, and we're gonna go around in a circle. We try to capture this whole thing. So we're gonna come out there. And we're gonna capture this little space. This is uh, to Sonata Square, uh, Sao Paulo Ruins. All kinds of cool stuff. And this little patio is inside these buildings right here. So we're gonna go inside and then through it and then back around in a circle. So let's just kind of um, check out all these crowds. They're going up to stop all the ruins. Tons and tons of people. Crowds everywhere.
to the Caballo patio. Nice architecture. It's funny how this lush building got this really nice building like that. It's kind of worked like that a little bit. So we're going to go inside that little patio right there. Okay. So they're all going down to Senado Square, San Malo, which is uh, um, a beautiful square that they'll all go to. So there's just streams and streams of people. Try to get by them. And we're gonna go up this little cabaya. So you can see our cabaya right there. that we're looking out at. Nice spaces, nice buildings all the way up there too. And we got some places to sit down as well. So you got lots of uh, seating in this little square as well. Okay, so we're gonna go up our patio. This is so photogenic. So yeah, like if you sit here, you got this nice, beautiful view. Looks really nice. So now we're inside the building. Some beautiful uh, balconies, architecture. And we also have like some nice shrines as well. Guayin. It's a nice space. So we're gonna walk right into Padia de Gabaya. And then uh, it goes outside on this side, but there's also these little patios, this little small one inside as well. And there's even some um, pretty cool architecture. Okay, so we're gonna head on out. There's so much of this stuff could be like for tourism, you know, like just. And I think that little, let me see, it's a Japanese right here. So sometimes I'll see Japanese people will come in that space. So where did I see the other patio? There was a There's a space that was, uh, there we go. It's beautiful. So this is a little cabaya and then, I don't know where that, we, there was the other entrance that I saw, but I don't know if that's, um, maybe it's no longer connected, but we're gonna go back around and see what that's about as well. It's so weird. Yeah, this is a Japanese sake bar inside the alley. Could it have been? Further down this way? Is there like an entrance that I don't know about? Oh, there is. Huh. That's so crazy. There it is right there. That's where we started at right there. So this entrance actually has two different ways to go in.
Didn't know that. Now right back out here again. Okay, so that's a uh, patio de caballa. It's a really beautiful little space. And so we basically went around in a circle. I didn't realize it went quite like that. And so yeah, we basically went into the middle of that building right there. Went into a little patio. Came back out. So on that note, we're going to end the video right there.